Hey guys, what's up? It's Alexis. So today I'm going to talk about my newest product that I got in my new box box from Influencer. I received it for free. It's a full size product. It is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro New Liquid Foundation. I wanted to buy this so bad since they started advertising it and it came in my box box so I was so pumped. So I'm going to give you a review of it and then go through my basic everyday go to makeup look. And then at the end I will talk about my favorite product from 2017 so stay tuned and I got a full-sized liquid foundation okay so it's around the clock coverage 24 hour wear liquid foundation. It improves the appearance of skin texture over time while blurring pores and imperfections. Available in 30 true to you shades in a natural matte finish. Good for you skin ingredients. Uh, I'm not gonna read them all to you, but it all sounds really good. Performance wear liquid foundation. It provides a natural looking, full coverage, and so much more. This is humidity, water, and sweat resistant foundation that provides broad spectrum, non-chemical SPF 20 sun protection, so I wanted to give the most accurate and honest review of this product. I was going to do it before I got the influencer box and I'm most certainly going to do it now that I have the influencer box and I have the product in front of me. My first thing was when I received it was the color was too light for my skin right now because I just got back from the beach. I put it on anyway and it still provided really good coverage for being light. Usually when a product is too light for me, my freckles and everything pop through and all my scars and I don't like that. Um, which is why I sometimes go a color up. I really wanted to try it out, the 24 hour wear and the humidity and sweat proof. So I put it on and just put bronzer all over my face and it worked out really well. Like you couldn't tell that it was too light for me. So it was 92 degrees yesterday. It was really hot. There was actually a heat advisory warning. This makeup survived. You know how sometimes makeup feels like it, was melt it melts off your face? Like I didn't feel like that. Obviously I felt my face getting hot because the rest of my body was cooking, but I didn't feel like it was melting off or shifting. It worked out really good in the heat. So A plus to that. It lasted all the way to bedtime. At the end of the day, after work, after everything I do, I get home and my face is so greasy and I just feel disgusting and I just wanna wash my face right when I get home. I didn't feel like that with this one. Before bed when I looked in the mirror, it looked a little bit greasy, but when I tell you it's much better, than other products that I've tried recently. That includes Makeup Forever HD foundation that I've been using this month. Even though it's a great foundation, I do find that my face gets a little greasy afterwards. So what I did was I went to Bare Minerals because I knew this color didn't really exactly match my skin. So I asked them to match me and they, she gave me two samples. She was really sweet. One shade was called Caramel and the other shade was called Deacon. Just to compare the two, that's Caramel and that's Deacon. And then this is the one that I was giving, which is Golden Ivory 08. I think you could definitely see the difference in the tones and the colors. I know I'm really late to the game, but I really wanted to try those silicone sponges and I saw it at Ulta, so I bought it. It was like $6.99, which wasn't bad. I kind of find that this sponge makes it difficult to blend the foundation. I think it's great for the initial put on of the liquid foundation, but for blending it's not so good. So I'm going to go back and blend it with my regular blending brush. I definitely felt this kind of blurred out the liquid foundation better. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Concealers. I'm using the red one for my eyes to take out any blue bags under my eyes or blueness in my eyes and then yellow for around my nose because it gets red there and I have a pimple. So I'm gonna apply it there as well. And the Mini Beauty Blender just helps get into those smaller places. Now I'm doing my eyebrows with an angled eyeliner brush and the Cabrow Gel Pod from Benefit Cosmetics. I usually start with a straight line under my brow and then drag it out. I've been dyeing my brows lately so it does help save on makeup product because I don't have to use as much of it. My hair is especially sparse in the corners so I'm going to put extra product there 
and I'm doing a bunch of little strokes to make it look like hairs and just to fill everything in. It's definitely a process. I like to keep it like faded towards the front by my nose because naturally you have less hairs there. Um, so I'm very careful around that area because I don't want it to look too heavy with the product. I'm using Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Palette. Um, it's my go-to eyeshadow palette. I think it has the best colors for an everyday look. I have green eyes and I find that the orangey brownish eyeshadow really makes them pop. And then I'm going to create like an eyeliner effect with the darker color browns. So it kind of looks like a brown smoky eye with a little hint of orange. I'm using the Kat Von D Cream Concealer. I'm just going to blend it all out. I like to pull the beauty blender in on my creases because I think it creates a really nice line and it makes the eyeshadow look very crisp. And now for my favorite product of 2017. It's the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the color Banana. I have bought four of these, I'm not even kidding. I know it's a lot, but I just use it every single day. And I just apply it after I put on my concealer under my eye and I just brush all the powder onto it. I put it under my eye, by my nose and my smile line, I get oily in those areas and it really keeps everything matte. I'm using this Clinique mascara that has two sides. It's the first a primer and the second is the actual mascara. And you just put the white one on and then the black one just like regular mascara. Um, I've been using it for I want to say a couple of weeks now and I like it. I like the idea of priming your lashes. I never do that and you really should be priming your lashes. Now I'm contouring my nose. I'm using Los Cabos from Sephora. It's a matte bronzer. I'm gonna contour the rest of my face, like my cheekbones, my forehead, the size of my face. For an everyday look, I really only like using nudes, so I'm using the So Cute Gloss by Kylie Cosmetics. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys!